This video is about abdominoplasty or tummy tuck surgery. The problem with the word tummy tuck is that it implies it's an easy procedure to undergo. It's not. Probably well over half the patients I see, I totally understand they don't like what they have, but it's just probably not worth it for them. So this video is going to explain what abdominoplasty surgery is, what it can do, what it can't do. So what can it do? Really the main reason for having a tummy tuck is to get rid of that extra skin that develops after weight loss, babies, and it isn't just about the skin removal, it's about removing skin and fat, and it's about tightening up the muscles. But it's not good for overweight patients. You need to actually be close to your ideal body weight to get a good result from tummy tuck surgery. If you've got too much fat inside your abdomen, think of the guys with the beer bellies. If I were to tighten up their skin, I would just be tightening it up around a ball. It doesn't work for them. Patients under need to understand the concept of fat inside their abdomen. I can't get at the fat that's on the inside. And women, when we gain weight, we tend to put weight all over our bodies, inside the tummy, outside the tummy, all over our bodies. Men tend to put the weight mostly inside their abdomen. So that's one advantage we have over the men is that you can get close to your ideal body weight, not necessarily at it to have a good result from a tummy tuck. So how do you understand this fat inside the abdomen versus fat outside? Well, if you think of a, a soft-sided suitcase, you get too many clothes in the suitcase, the suitcase bulges. I can't get at the clothes. You have to remove the fat inside the abdomen before you're a good candidate for the surgery. So again, take the suitcase analogy. If you've got too many clothes in the suitcase and I do up that extra zipper, what's going to happen? It's just going to rip. So if you've got too much fat inside your abdomen and I'm tightening up your muscles, it's not going to last. So the tummy tuck surgery is about taking out the extra skin and what I do is actually take out all of the extra skin between the belly button and the pubic area lift the skin up to the ribs, pull that down, make a new hole for the belly button, and tighten up the muscles. Now, I actually don't tighten up the muscles. You strengthen the muscles, but what I'm doing is muscles normally like to work from bone to bone. They like something solid to something solid. That's how they work. Well, that's not what they have in the tummy. In the tummy, you have your babies. You stretch out the fascia or the fabric between the muscles. Some people it bounces back quite nicely and other people it doesn't. So then if your muscles are working on this floppy material, this floppy fascia, they can't work properly at flattening your tummy. So it's not about exercising more, it's about having something solid for the muscles to work on. So I tighten up the fascia or the fabric between the muscles so that then you can actually it's so that your muscles can actually work more effectively. So it's about removing the extra skin, adjusting some of the extra fat, not inside the abdomen, not in the skin of the tummy, a little bit around the hip roll area, and tightening up the fabric between the muscles. But that is a long recovery, because tightening up those muscles is kind of like doing a hernia repair, and it's about th four to six weeks of no heavy lifting. So the recovery from a tummy tuck is about a month to do normal things and about two months to do sporting things. Some people ask about a mini tuck rather than the full tummy tuck. That only works if you've just got a little bit of extra skin, but if you've got loose skin above and below your belly button, for example, then you need a full tummy tuck. There's very few patients who can actually just go through the mini or the modified. The modified, we don't actually leave a scar around your belly button, but as soon as you've got extra skin above your belly button, then the modified's not going to give you a very good result. Sometimes you need to look at it as the mini uh, tummy tuck is going to give you a mini result and probably not worth going through. But we can go through all of that and what's right for you at the consultation. Tummy tuck surgery is not an easy recovery. So to go home the same day or even the next day is not all that easy. It's kind of like a hysterectomy um, as far as discomfort or a C-section. In fact, the tummy tuck surgery might not be as sharp a pain as a C-section, but can actually be more uncomfortable for, for longer. 
So the advantage we have here at Banff Plastic Surgery is that we have an arrangement with the Mineral Springs Hospital here in Banff where you can stay at least two nights after the surgery usually and sometimes even a little bit longer. There are a few changes we've made through our studies of other patients on the tummy tuck surgery and we do something that's called a tap block. What that does is makes your recovery much easier and there are patients who are almost feel like they get to go home the same day with that tap block. So our anesthetists are really good at doing those tap blocks. So it does, tap means transversus abdominis plane block. If you wanted to look it up on the internet, it's kind of like, I used quilting sutures and I, I had a patient once that phoned and asked if I used progressive tension advancement sutures. No one would have ever asked those questions in the past, but you can find those on the internet. And yes, I do do those sutures. That's one of the other advantages. And what it is, is I don't use drains because I use what we call quilting sutures. So in order to stop um, some of the shear forces with the quilting sutures, and they all dissolve over time, I don't need drains. And not only do I not need drains because patients really don't like having drains, it actually helps control the swelling after surgery so your recovery is faster. You still get swelling, you just don't get as much swelling after surgery with these quilting sutures. The problem with tummy tuck surgery is long recovery, long scars, not always a great scar around the belly button, not always a good enough scar to wear a two-piece bathing suit comfortably. Some people can, but you should go into the surgery assuming that yes, I can get rid of some of that extra skin, get rid of some of the extra fat around the hip roll area, not higher up, back rolls don't work, tighten up the muscles, but you may still be having to wear a one-piece bathing suit. So long recovery, long scar, and some permanent numbness. Those of you who've had a cesarean section will know that there's a bit of numbness in the skin just above the um, scar. After an abdominoplasty, you get a big patch of numbness. In fact, not long ago, I had a patient that was at a kid's birthday party, had a hot tray, pot holders holding it, held it up against her tummy and burnt it because she couldn't feel it. You start out with a big patch of numbness, then you it gets smaller, but you will always have a permanent patch of numbness. So with the breast surgery, we often talk about a 5 or 15% chance of losing sensation. Um, with the abdominoplasty surgery, it's permanent. Now, it's not a problem. It's only numbness above the scar, occasionally a little bit down the thighs, but just numbness above the scar. Sexual feeling stays fine. That's all normal. And that patch gets smaller. It just kind of feels odd for have that numbness. So the big issues with abdominoplasty surgery are mainly recovery. If you want to see examples of patients, go to the website or phone the office and they can send you a copy of the handout that's on the website.